This is history in the making. Cortez, 23 years old, first woman in the majors. What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well, and today we are going to be talking about a gaming franchise that has been around for a very long time. Very popular franchise that is releasing a new feature. Finally, MLB The Show 24 is going to allow you to play as a female in the Major League Baseball. That's right. I know tons of people have been wanting this for years, and they're finally giving it to us, right? No, in all reality, nobody has asked for this. Nobody wants this, but here we are. So as you can see on screen, this is the trailer that I'm going to play for you. It's very, very short. It's MLB The Show 24 presents Road to the Show, Women Pave Their Way. So let's see this real quick, and then I'll give you some of input, and then what some of the real fans of this series are saying about it. When it comes to big league dreams, no two are alike. No, it wouldn't Some happen. No way. <laughs> no one's Some hitting that. Want to put on a show? Some want to perform when it's all on the line. Nah, she'd get rocked. And some want to change the game. And it's got the entire sports world taking notice. Whatever your big league dreams, they're yours to unlock in Road to the Show. Unlock your dreams. Now look, I know that this is a video game, and I understand that not everything in MLB The Show is 100% realistic. You can have old players that are long dead play against new players, right? I get that. But this is something that is absolutely ridiculous. And now I know there's a lot of people that are out there actually defending this. Like, oh, you guys are man babies and you're crying about this and blah, blah, blah. The point is, and the major issue that I have with this, is that I know for a fact, because I used to play this franchise a very long time ago, is that there are things that people have been asking for this franchise for a very long time. Better season mode, better stats, things of that nature, right? Real things that, that they want to make their overall gameplay better. If you've ever played like the 2K basketball games and how in-depth they go when it comes to scoring and whatnot, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's the kind of stuff that people are wanting in this game for baseball. But instead of them taking their resources and money and invest it into things that the actual fan base wants, they do this. And why? Well, we all know why they're doing this. This is for diversity, equity, and inclusion. This has nothing to do with what the actual fan base wants. I can guarantee that maybe 1% of the people who actually play this game will do this and utilize this feature. Other than that, it's not going to happen. I know plenty of girls that watch baseball, and I can guarantee you they don't want to see females play. It's not even close to being the same. Females will never stack up against male players. Not by a long shot. As the intro of my video showed, if that actually happened and you had a female pitcher on the mound, they're getting rocked every single time. It's just the reality of it. And we all know that if they were to create their own video game for just female players, nobody would buy it. So what do they need to do? They need to slide it and include it into an already established IP because they have to force it upon a fan base of things that nobody wants. That's the only way it was going to sell. Now, if they did a feature where you could play as like the teams from a league of their own, for example, that would be really cool, right? That's realistic. That happened. Honor those from the past, right? That would be a fantastic little addition to this game that I think people would really appreciate. This nonsense, though, is very stupid. Again, it's not something to like lose your mind over or whatever. But if I was a fan, why would I invest 70, 80, sometimes $90 into a game where you're shitting on the things that I want fixed to include something that nothing wants. You're basically telling me as a fan to go F myself and you're gonna take what we give you. Well, I'm not gonna give you my money, right? And I, as you could see in the comments when I scroll down here, that is the sentiment that a lot of people have. So this trailer that I'm showing you, this is from Sony San Diego. You have 13,000 views, 
1,400 down votes, 462 up votes. So majority of people are not liking this whatsoever. And again, here's are some of the comments that people are saying. What is the point of this? Is there a huge market of women who want to play this game but refuse to because of representation or whatever? One of the laziest cash grabs I've ever seen. This is why Sony keeps losing money. Well, we had a good run, boys. Let's remember the good years. Sports video gaming is officially in the toilet. And really quick, jumping over to this article here, play ball, ladies, MLB video game to include female players. So Molly Braley apparently is the narrative designer for this uh, female road to the show feature. So it says here, the update and expansion of the game's popular road to the show mode will feature a distinct storyline that differs from the default offering for male characters. Anyone who creates a female character will be accompanied by Mia Lewis, a fictional player who will act as a teammate and friend helping spark Major League Dreams. Our team wanted to create something where dreams become a reality, and we felt like adding this to Road to the Show was the perfect opportunity that gave our players the option to experience this. She continues to say that this is a feature that goes beyond simply allowing players to create a woman ball player in the game. It's also meant to highlight the strength, tenacity, and resilience that it takes to break into the sport but not shy away from the struggles that many have faced. So I personally think that this kind of stuff is to start the conversation of why aren't there females in baseball? Why aren't? Because at the end of the day, if you actually have females playing against males in most of these sports, they're going to get destroyed in every way, shape or form. It's just the reality of it, though. If you have females playing against males in ice hockey, they're going to get physically destroyed. It, it's going to be a painful process. You could put the best female out there, okay? They may have amazing skill, and I'm not taking anything away from them. Like, a lot of them are really good, and, and they're actually very fun to watch. But I do not want to see a female stack up against a male because a male will physically crush them. Same thing here. If I want to watch female sports, then I will watch that. But I don't want to watch a female get destroyed by men. I'm sorry. It's got to be separate. Let them stand out on their own accord. Let them have their own thing. It's not a bad thing to have it separate sometimes. But unfortunately, this is what happens when you hire these SJWs into the gaming world, right? They have to dilute everything. They have to destroy everything within. So yes, all of this is just pandering and DEI nonsense and checking a box. We all know that, okay? Like I said, multiple times, people that are actually fans of this game, don't want this stuff. Nobody cares about this. No one's even going to play it. And if it is, if people are, it's going to be a very, very small percentage. So the fact that they took all the time, all the effort, all the money that they could have invested in something else to better the game that people actually want, they put in this that literally nobody asked for and nobody cares about. So if Sony wants to keep doing this and burning bridges and turning off their fan base, hey, more power to them. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. I always love to hear your thoughts. If you liked the video, hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. If you disliked the video, hit that button too. It's there for a reason. I appreciate you watching. And until next time, take care.